Okay, y'all, so I just left the thrift store and I filmed it for y'all and I have stuff to show you, but that's not what I'm gonna show you today. That will be in Friday's video because I stopped in Hobby Lobby right after the thrift store to get some little red berry picks for a project. And y'all, they had 75% off going on on all of their fall stuff, on everything that was fall 2022. And I got some amazing things from there. And today is Tuesday. And I just bought this stuff last night. So I wanted to show you what I got because everything that I got out of their fall section could be used all year long. And several of the pieces that I picked up could definitely be some great Christmas ideas for some of y'all. So I wanted to show y'all that haul today instead of a thrift haul in case you have a Hobby Lobby near you and you wanted to go check out to see if they're doing 75% off at yours because y'all got some amazing, amazing deals. And I wanted to share that with y'all since I just went yesterday evening, I wanted to go ahead and put it up today for y'all so that you could hopefully go score some of these awesome deals. Let me share with you real quick what I purchased. Okay, so I'm gonna start this haul with what I actually went in there to get. This is all I went in there to get. And that's when I spotted the 75% off signs. And I knew that there would be some things over there that I could use all throughout the year and not just for fall. But this is what started it all. I went in there to get some of these little picks. I had just left to the thrift store, that video coming Friday. And I needed some things for a little um, makeover on something that I got. So I wanted to get some of these. Now these are 60% off. They're normally $1.99, but I got them for only 80 cents a piece. And I love to use these in my Christmas decor because I can poke them in a lot of the greenery that I have for during Christmas. And then I just pull them out and then I can have just the greenery all the way through January. But anyway, I got 22 of these and you'll be seeing these and a bunch of videos coming up just kind of scattered all throughout my house in different things but that's what i went in there for and so i saw the sign and here's what i ended up with okay so i grabbed some of these little copper measuring spoons i really really love these i think that they will be beautiful on a peg rail and i will use these i cannot tell y'all i go through measuring spoons so fast. They did not have any measuring cups or I probably would have got a set of those also, but I think that these are just beautiful, y'all. The original price was $6.99 and I got these for $1.75, y'all. And I'm telling you, these are beautiful, just styled in your kitchen and then you can just grab them when you need to use them. That's what I do. So I love these little measuring spoons. You really cannot beat that for only $1.75. Okay, the next kitchen item that I wanted to look at was the wooden spoons. And these were all on the 75% off. They were originally $5.99. So I think I got these, yeah, for $1.50. And I love them. I wanted more, but this was the only two they had left by the time I got to look through it. And I love stuff like this because even though it is in the fall stuff, um, you can use this all year long. And that's what I look for when I see Hobby Lobby's fall or Christmas or spring, anything like that. I look for items that I can use 
all year long, not just for that season. So I actually will use these and I love them both. So I grab both of these little wooden spoons. So definitely check if you like to use wooden utensils. Okay, y'all. Now I really love to get vintage or antique, just old looking pictures. But for $6, what did I pay for this? Let me look. Yes, for $6.25, <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed this one. Kelsey had bought her one of these the other day when they were just half price, and I really liked it. And I think the reason I really liked it is because it is not white, white. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it is not a real white, white, if that makes any sense. It has almost like an off-white color to it kind of like my kitchen cabinets and that's why i like it and it's a little bit smaller but i thought that this would just be perfect with some winter greenery a few of those red picks maybe just for the christmas season so for six dollars and 25 cents i grabbed it it was originally 24.99 so you can't really beat that and this would make an awesome christmas gift also and just think about it this type of stuff right here can use in your decor all year long. Just picture it with some beautiful spring florals in it and summer florals. That is just so pretty. Or your wooden spoons. I mean, look, you could use this for your utensils. So, so many uses for these cute little things. And I love that I picked that up. They only had four or five of these left at my store by the time I left. So I'm sure they'll be gone um, pretty soon. So it's no secret that I love green, especially like a sage green color like this. I'll try to get over here in the light where you can see it a little bit better. But y'all, these were originally $6.99 and marked down with the 75% off. Again, this was in the fall stuff. And I can use this all year long. Or these would make beautiful little Christmas gifts rolled up. Maybe with some little measuring spoons attached to a gift. I mean, just, you can do so many different things with these. I'm actually keeping these. I go through hand towels or kitchen towels so fast. Like I go through them like crazy because I stain them up because I actually use them constantly. So I grabbed up every one of these that they had. I think they only had five. One, two, three, four. Yeah. My Hobby Lobby only had five of these left. I would have got more if they had more because again, I go through them so quickly and these are a very good quality towel and did i tell you how much i paid <laughs> i can't remember but these were only a dollar 75 a piece again i just i can't express it enough check your hobby lobby you're 75 percent off for things that you can use all year long not just during the fall season all right so i have a few more things and i am so excited about these next two things coming up let me show y'all okay Y'all are not going to believe the price of these adorable, they're kind of flirty looking like aprons. And I love these so much more because they don't hit you so long. That's what I like. I tried one on and y'all, I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. I was just on Amazon researching for aprons because um, I put my fall apron up and I needed a couple more aprons because I do use them when I can a lot of times. And y'all, they had these, were in their fall stuff for $5. Okay, well the original price was, this one was $21.99, so this one was $5.50. And they are just gorgeous. And I went ahead and got this one because it's kind of got that little bit of green color in it. It's kind of got this rust color to it, you know, that does look like fall and it has, you know, these colors up here that do look a lot more like fall. But let me just show y'all my kitchen cabinets real quick. Look how well that goes with my kitchen cabinets. Not that it matters, okay? It's an apron. But I like to keep one hanging right here. Um, I'll probably put the, the buffalo check one right here. But if it's dirty and I need to hang this one up right here, I don't think that it just looks too much like fall. Do y'all? I think it's beautiful. I think it would go all year long. I think that you could even bring these colors in during spring and summer, but I'll probably go ahead and just put this one up during Christmas and um, winter because it's got the buffalo check and y'all, it has these big uh, pockets. I mean, I don't know why you would really need pockets on an apron, but some people, some people yeah. do. Like I said, I do love it. I like that it's not super long. I'm short, so I don't like the aprons that come all the way down practically to your knees. 
but I do love these because not only are they cute, so you feel, you know, feminine and pretty while you're in there cooking and cleaning, um, but it's protecting your clothes and compared to what I was about to pay on Amazon, I'm super glad that I came across these because I actually had a buffalo check one in my cart on Amazon. So I don't have to worry about paying that $20 for that apron. And I also like that they are blank up here. So if you wanted to get something like this as Christmas gifts for somebody, they're only five bucks. And you could pay somebody to do a little embroidery on there with somebody's name or you know, for a grandparent or a sister. I don't know. You could come up with all kinds of stuff. And especially if you have a, sorry, I'm putting that on y'all's face there. If you have a cricket, you could do something with your cricket. I mean, the possibilities are endless. So you could definitely also use this as Christmas gift ideas. Okay, y'all. So I did get a couple of their beautiful cutting boards. I do love to look for these when I'm out thrifting. But y'all, some of these prices that I was paying, I don't even think thrift stores, a Goodwill store, just going thrift shopping in general, I don't think it could compare to some of the prices that I got some of this stuff today. Or it could just about compare to thrift store prices these days. But I love this, and I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do with this. I think, because honestly, to me, it looked like a gigantic ornament. <laughs> and I know um, that I can use this all year long. But I really, I think, want to use this on my coffee table to layer underneath a silver pitcher that I have there. I already have, like, some Christmas florals in there. And I think that this will complement that area really well. And then when I'm finished using it there, I can move it to my kitchen. You could hang it on a wall. Y'all, you could buy these and take them to an engraver. Like, we have a printing company here. They could engrave a recipe on there. I mean, you could do all sort of things with this also. The original price was $34.99, and I paid $8.75 for this gorgeous. I mean, here's my hand. It's pretty big, and it looks like this just on both sides. So I was excited to get that, and I don't have a round one like this. So I thought that this would be fun to put out for the holidays or for all year long. This would make a beautiful little gift for someone. Okay, and this cutting board was the most expensive thing that I bought today, but y'all, it is huge. It is so big, and I'm going to tell you where I'm thinking about putting this also. Well, I'm also thinking about using this actually as a charcuterie board, um, I think that would be fun during the holidays to do a couple of those and invite all of my kids and stuff over. But y'all, it was originally $69.99 and I think this was like 17, yeah, it was $17.50 after the 75% off. But it is so big. Um, I love it. It's what I like is that sometimes when I buy things like this at, oh, this actually is a charcuterie board. I didn't realize that. That's what it's actually for. Um, let's see. It is food safe. And so that's what I like. And sometimes when you buy things like this at an antique store or um, even the thrift store, you're not really 100% sure if it is food safe. And since I did want to get one to make a little charcuterie board, make it really pretty for Christmas, um, I wanted to get one that was food safe. But there was no way I was paying that price. But at 75% off and getting it for like $17, I'll try that. And it is super, super it is so heavy, I can't even pick it up one-handed, y'all. So I was I was so excited about this. And there was at least three other ladies in Hobby Lobby yesterday walking around with this same board in their um, buggy. But y'all, this would also be cute. And I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing with mine. Let me show you. You see that space right there above my door? Right there. There's a nail up there. I did have something hanging up there, but I took it down because I didn't love it. But I'm thinking about hanging this board right above that door. Um, it will fit. I'm just going to have to add a hanger, excuse me, to the back of this charcuterie board so that I can hang it. But I want to make sure that I'm putting a hanger on the side that, hmm, y'all, I don't know how I'll do that because I, I do want to be able to pull it down and use it as a charcuterie board. I'm not sure if I put a hanger like on the back of it. And this one's kind of got a... I don't know, maybe this could be the back and I could put something up here that comes off easy. I don't know, I even thought about a plate hanger, like one of those plate hangers that attaches here and down here to hang it up. 
I'm not sure, but that's where I want to put it. I don't know if that's where it will end up, but that's what I was thinking. And for the holidays, I could put a little wreath up there, like with a little command strip or something. But then again, that's something I would have to take off when I decided to use it as a charcuterie board. So <laughs> I'm not really sure where this is gonna end up, um, but I think it'll be beautiful because I can style it as decor and then I can use it for food and for entertaining when I want to. Also thought about putting it right here because I could just put it up there really easy and just prop it up there and then take it down when I wanted to use it. I thought it'd be fun to show y'all a few pieces that I got while I was in there too that are really struggling with my decor this year. Um, and so I really just love like country Christmas. So when I saw this red tick and stripe pillow and they were 60% off, um, no wait, these were 50% off, excuse me. This is not a Christmas pillow. This was just 50% off. But I went ahead and got me three of these and I'm gonna try them. And I still have the tags left on them because if they don't work, I'm gonna take them back. But what I do love is that they have the removable zipper cover so that I could use these even after Christmas and just buy new covers. I don't have any pillows this big and I was needing some like this to go on my master bedroom bed, but I just haven't, you know, took the plunge to buy bigger, more expensive pillows because that is kind of a splurge for me to get a pillow that big and expensive, even at 50% off because I bought three. Okay, and because during Christmas, I just, there is something about the black and white buffalo check that I just love adding into my Christmas decor. And I was also looking online at getting a buffalo check pillow. And when I was in Hobby Lobby and got finished looking at all that fall clearance stuff, I went over to the blankets and what do you know, they have these beautiful buffalo check blankets and these were 60% off because it is uh, Christmas 2022. So because it is the Christmas is 60% off. I got this for like $9.20, I think. And I love it because it's not too thick, but it looks like it'll be warm enough. You know, if I'm laying in bed watching TV and don't want to get under the covers or something like that, I can just pull this cute little cozy throw up and be all cozy. So I got that. And then a few things I got to go in my teenage daughter's bathroom, which is also our guest bathroom. I was looking for, I love this green color. Um, not really sure. I may put a few touches of red, but I really want to be able to leave certain decor up all the way through January. So I always try to keep that in mind when I'm getting decor for Christmas. So I come across this, it looks like a big uh, gift tag and it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And I just love this green color. And let's see, this was $21.99, but it was again, 60% off. So not too bad for that. I think I paid like $8 or something for that. So I'm again, I've left everything on it because this is what I do. I will buy things, bring them home, try them out. And if they just do not work, I will end up taking them back if it's a retail, um, because I'm just real funny. And some from year to year, things just change with me and I never know what I'm really going to like and not like. Um, but I did get these two little wooden trees. I thought these had that rustic country kind of look to them also. And I got them to go in that bathroom as well. This one was $17.99, but 60% off. And this one was also 60% off, but it was originally $11.99. And this is what they look like. You just stand them up like this. And so I thought that those would be cute next to that. Okay, and the only other thing that I picked up on this day was this little red berry garland at, at Walmart, actually, for $8.98. And I'm thinking maybe I won't use this as a garland, but maybe I can use this for a wreath makeover or something. I'm not really sure. I might end up using it as garland here for above my bar. But I did want to show y'all that Walmart does have these for only $9, which I say only. That's crazy compared to what they were last year but they are beautiful and you can make a little wreath out of these just by themselves cut them up stick them in stuff and it's kind of cheaper to do it that way i think but anyway i wanted to share this little wreath here with y'all as well uh, not wreath this little garland here that i got at walmart all right y'all i hope that y'all enjoyed seeing my hobby lobby haul wasn't that some good items 
for the prices. Sometimes I get better deals at Hobby Lobby when they do this 75% off clearance sale than I do when I go out thrift shopping. It just, thrift stores have gotten so expensive lately. I do still find good deals and I actually just purchased several things at the thrift store when I was there yesterday as well, but I definitely wanted to just kind of change it up today and share a Hobby Lobby clearance with y'all because I know most of y'all do have a Hobby Lobby nearby. So anyway, I hope that y'all are not too disappointed that this is not a thrift with me or a thrift with me at Goodwill or a thrift shopping video, but I promise that is coming Friday. I have a thrift shopping and a thrift haul and a little thrift makeover coming for you on Friday. So I hope that y'all have a wonderful week. I love y'all and I will see you here Friday with a brand new video.